It looks like the hammer found its nails. That's right, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Daily Attack Progress and Perspectives. And in the last episode, I've added the hammer and the nails. Then I also worked on adding these plate blocks into the game. And of course, the beautiful nailed planks. So for this episode, the plan is to add boiling and steam. So boiling can be done in a cauldron. And later I of course want to also add a big industrial boiler, which will be its own separate machine. But for now, you gotta heat up the cauldron. And there's gonna be a few ways how you can do that. And in this episode, I want to add the stoked fire. So the stoked fire you can get by using bellows to pump air onto a fire. And this will make the fire extra hot and able to boil the water. You can press it to really blow air into the fire. Okay, now the air is kind of blowing everywhere. So next I gotta try to fix that and also to actually add the stoked fire into the game. And while I'm at it, I might as well add the crafting recipe. So here you go, this is the recipe for the bellows. You need any nailed planks and three leather, and then you can make it. And I've also added sounds. Initially, it will not be expanded. I changed it so you have to first expand it, and then you have to blow it. So you have to activate it twice each time. And I also changed the air when it's blowing to be more of a straight line. And I pretty much like it. Now I also started working on the next thing, which is the fire. And as you can see, if you blow, it becomes the stoked fire. Now the reason I changed it is that it now works together with the mechanical power. So if I place here the gearbox and give it some power input, it, you can see the bellows will blow air and if you stop giving it power then it will let in air so pretty much you have to give it alternating power so you have to give it power and then stop and then give it power again and then stop but that's only for if you want to automate the bellows if you want to do that, you gotta of course move the gearbox back and forth somehow to give this bellows alternating power. Now as you can see, I also added the water boiling. It had some beautiful steam particles around the water. But that's not all you can do. And now that I added boiling to the mod, I also wanted to add boiled eggs so that you can actually use the boiling for something. And I don't want to make a whole food mod and add a lot of types of food. But I think it's nice to just add one food which you can boil. Because then other mods can be compatible with this. And here you see boiled eggs. They are coming out on the one. And you can see the boiled egg only gives one half hunger. Because otherwise it's uh, not very balanced. Because they are so easy to make. And as I was saying earlier, I think other food mods or mod packs could use this system and add other foods such as boiled rice or boiled pasta or anything they want. But I'm not gonna add that many foods in this mod. So now that my belly is full of delicious boiled egg, I wanted to also make that the steam can be used for technology. So I wanted to add a turbine and this was the first model of it, which I based on real life. But then I changed it to look more like the gearbox. So if you now boil the water, you can see that the steam is slowly going up until it goes to the turbine. And the turbine is then rotating for about 10 seconds, which will also give mechanical power. So now there is finally an automatic way to get the mechanical power, instead of having to rely still on the hand crank. But to make it fully automated, you have to send the power back to the gearbox. And of course, you then have to make it an alternating power. So let me show you one example of how to do that. So here you can see one system which I designed for the alternating power. It's just a very easy redstone clock. I'm sure there's better ways to do it. And it moves 
visit this in the box back and forth. And when it's here, it can power the bellows. And when it's moved, it depowers the bellows so that it can uh, alternate. And then you can uh, continuously stoke the fire and continuously supply the turbine with steam. And you can make infinite power. But as you can see here, there's eight power coming from the turbine, which means that you can split it a few times. For example, now you have here four power and you can still split it further and power several machines with it. So I feel pretty accomplished and happy about what I added in this episode. Of course, the bellows blowing air and stoking the fire and then also the steam and the turbine. And I feel like all of this really upgrades and contributes a lot of depth to the mechanical power system. So also let me know if you have any suggestions further. But otherwise, I think that was pretty much enough for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and see you again in the next episode. So bye bye.